Hey, who are we with? You mean introduce Joe? yourself? Joe? Mohan. Mohan? Yes. Where are we at? We're at the Galveston County Fishing Expo. It's at the Galveston County Fairgrounds. Hey, how many vendors you got here? We got about 112. And I mean, it's quite a variety. It is. We walked earlier, and I mean, you got, is there two boat guys here or just one? I mean, no, there's two, two boat guys. There's Big D Marine that has a variety of jet boats. But in case you don't know, in Dickinson, Texas, there's an independent boat dealer called Scuda, S-K-U-T-A. They make a 24-foot center console boat and a 26-foot uh, center console boat, and they float in eight inches of water, if you can believe that. Right. Yeah. This Chicken Boy Lures, yes. he's here, yes, uh, yes, him yes. and Hunter Welch with yes. uh, Fish Sticks. Now, yes. they're they're here also. We're the instigators of the Galveston County Fishing Expo. Got, what else you got planned? Well, uh, didn't you just, uh, you just put, come out with some new lures? I got quite a few new lures. Uh, I got some uh, well, several different models. I call them Psycho Ice. It's kind of like a glass minnow. Uh, I got one that's white with a pink tail called the Baby Maker. And uh, I got the one I named after David Dillman, you know, with the Galveston paper, writes the article and stuff. It's about becoming a bestseller named in his honor called the Cock of Galvez. <laughs> he's, the head, he's the head rooster. Come on, come on. Fish tremble at the sound of the name Cock of Galvez and named it in, named it in his honor. Yeah. We got Mullet I Man know. here. You know, he know who Mullet Man is? I saw the mullet thing. Well, he is a YouTube sensation I got it we got to go okay. talk to him. this is a very very fun friendly family event yeah it's, it's awesome you, like you said the kids own everything the food I mean it's 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 double from what it was the uh, I guess a year ago we came here thank you brother thank you kid and, uh, and Alicia and Alicia behind the thank camera. you uh, and our guest appearance of the shark and, yeah the shark got shark boy yeah uh, shark boy I know he's Alicia Corville, we are here at the Got Fish Expo. We got our booth set up. We're gonna try to sell some gear. I'm telling you, there's over a hundred vendors here. Let's check it out, Alicia. Let's go around. I'm gonna to talk to everybody today. Come on, let's go. Got Fish Expo. Check out who we found, Debbie Burr. Hi. Who are you with? Adventure, Adventure Sports, Sports and Outdoors. Outdoors. In what, Bio Vista? Bio Vista, yes. What all do you got here? Looks like you got some stuff I've never seen before. What is this kayak here? We got the Impulse 120 from Hoodoo. We got the 135. We have some Crescents. And we got some paddle boards. I saw somebody taking off with one of the pink ones. And you said, yes. you better grab that pink one because... That's the number one attention a, getter. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay, so where are y'all at? We are at uh, 3131 Highway 6 in uh, Bio Vista, Vista. Hitchcock. Hitchcock, Texas. And you got a Facebook page? We do. 
over at Adventure Sports and Outdoors, LLC. And um, you can reach us on the phone, 713-304-9662. Fish Corville. You ever had your uh, fishing pole broke? Did you ever lose an eye at the end of your fishing pole? <laughs> no, but I did, right? Didn't I break your rod? You did. Hey, but where do you go to get them fixed? I mean, what happens if you break a rod? What happens? What does Check happen? this guy out. Who we got over here? Mark Cohen with old school custom rods. Mark. So what are we doing here? Are you, are you repairing something here or is this something that you're building? This is a brand new bill for a customer. Where are you located? In Bay Cliff, Texas. Bay Cliff, Texas. If yes. somebody wanted to get a hold of you, see what you do, or what are you doing? You're going to look me up on Facebook and they're old school custom rods. Old school custom rods on Facebook. Yes. There you go, guys. Bay Cliff, Texas. Hey, local man. There you go. Come check him out, man. Give me a holler. You need a surf rod, I'm the guy. Appreciate it, brother. You bet. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Yes, sir. Y'all have a good day. Another rod builder. I mean, I'm telling you, you can never have enough rods. That would be Alicia says because if you go into our closet, <laughs> I was like, where was the one we used last time? Okay, who do we got here? This is Alvin Hall from Isles Custom Rods. Where are y'all located? We're out of Kingwood, Texas. Kingwood? Yes, sir. All right. I noticed number one these grips. I, I have to ask a question. I have just a black. I think Alicia's just got a solid color. How, uh, do you do these custom, or did uh, how, how come? If I wanted to do something like this, is it difficult? No, sir. We have these made. Okay. And then um, we'll take the grips, and when the customer orders their rod, we'll cut the grips down, shape them, and uh, our thread is colored matched for each of the grips to uh, wrap that rod with. These are cool. These are cool. So what am I using this rod for? That's a steadfast 10 foot extra heavy. That's for a shark. And the guy's gonna put a 80 wide on that one. Good Lord. How much, does it heavy? I mean, not really. Well, let me ask you this. What about a telescopic rod? Is the, do they even do those anymore? Good they, Lord, Alicia. They have some. You ain't cast anything off this thing. Uh, no, sir. You kayak that out or put it out on a uh, drone <laughs> or a jet. Let me tell you what. Me and Alicia's tried two or three times to go surf fishing. It don't work very well. These are awesome. So, so you can do surf rods or you can do just regular old six, six feet, seven foot rods. Yes, sir. We do everything from light tackle all the way to their offshore rods. And how do people get a hold of you? You could uh, reach us through Facebook at Facebook. Al's Custom Rods or call me at 832-258-2096. There you go, guy, you want those You want those surf rods, here they are. Get this guy a call. Hey, man, Al, appreciate it, thanks a lot. It's Corville, bite and fight. That sounds like you and me, right, when we're, when we're out fishing on the boat? Hey, check these guys out. Who we got here? Justin Russell with Bite and Fight Angler. James Russell. James, hey, guys. What, what, what are we selling them? I mean, you got like the go-to? What, what do we got? That... Our go-to, what we got going on this at this show, this is our new marshmallow. It's tied up on a salty head jig head. He hand ties all of these. So you have uh, we got them all tied up on the salty head jig heads. So you know if you use those salty head jig heads, you know you got quality. So now you got quality tied on the quality that's going to catch quality fish. And we also have all of these different all of the different styles of lures that we that we carry also act as trailers as you can see on the back of this fish on the back of this jig here we also have all of these available so that's where are y'all at where, where are you located we're out of alvin texas alvin texas right up the road somebody want to get a hold of you check out your inventory and check out what you got selling the lures and stuff where do they go uh, www.bitenfightangler.com we're also on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Bite and Fight Angler at Yahoo.com. You can send us an email. We'll do custom stuff. Whatever you need, get a hold of us. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good meeting you guys. Alicia. Got Fish Expo. I mean, they got everything. Everything that you possibly need, needed. If you weren't here, guys, you missed out. Who did we just see? Is, is this the Hall of Fame, the Hall of Fame out of Texas City? Yes, sir, it is. Keith, Keith and Alicia. Roger Robinson, Roger Robinson right here. Rick Dixon. Rick Dixon. Glad to meet you. Okay, listen, guys, 
Well, this is something people can actually, they can, can they go online and, and find out more about this? Yeah, we got, yes sir, we're on Facebook, uh, Southeast Texas Sports Fishing Association, plus also as well, uh, this year's our 49th annual, and for the people who really like to fish for a lot of money, we got something good for them this year. <laughs> we got side pots. It's our side pots this year for all the big fish. And we're going to do all the offshore categories except for the open division. And in short, we're going to have stingray, bull red, and jackfish. It's going to be $100 a spot. And we're going to pay back 85% of the proceeds. The other 15% of the proceeds are going to go to our charity. When does, so, when does it start? Uh, we're going to be going on the 4th through the 12th. And for this particular piece here, we're going to have a captain's meeting on the 3rd, which give you that weekend before. We have another captain meeting on the 8th, the Wednesday, which give you that weekend. But, but any time they want to sign up, Side pot, it goes for the whole week. All right. Once again, where do they go to find uh, out more? Uh, we're gonna, uh, we're on Facebook, and you can buy tickets at Boys One Boy, Stop. Yes. You can buy them at Lee's. You can buy them at Body Bait Tackle. You can buy them at over at Smitty's Bait Tackle. You can buy them over at Sirius Tackle. And the Mark, you can buy them over yeah, at the fish, uh, at that new fish tech store. Plus, you can get them over at, uh, at over in Dickinson at Hillman's. Oh, yeah, go see Mary. Yeah, yeah go, go see, see Mary. Mary. Here Humans. you go. Leach Corville. I don't know what stop this is, <laughs> but check out these knives. I got a story about these knives. Not about these knives, but a knife that I had. I had a guy, uh, a friend of mine I worked with on the railroad, World War II, gave me a stiletto knife. Uh, and for, I've had it for 30 years, and I've always was told that the knife is illegal. It's an illegal knife because it's a concealed weapon. I just found out that it's not a concealed weapon. Who do we got, who do we got here? My name is Jed Smith. I'm Jed? with Stick and Knives. So this is your company? This my buddy's company. Okay. Andrew Williams. Uh, great guy. But uh, yeah, I'm his right hand man. I'm the face of the company. We work hard and make sure our customer, everybody stays happy. You got some awesome knives here. Are you local here? Where are you from? We're local out of Bumble, Texas. Okay. Northeast uh, Houston. Is there a and, website? Uh, a yes. Uh, I do have a website, stickitknives.com, and uh, just reach reach uh, uh, through, to us out through there they or can, come see us. They can kind of see the things that y'all y'all. Yes. Y'all. Yeah. All right. All right. Now we need to get Alicia over here because you got to see this knife. Well, you got a bunch of them, I'm sure. Uh, maybe maybe talk about two or three of them. Is you said something about the blade length, right? You yes. said something about so the only restriction on the knives nowadays is uh, concealment. Um, you can carry any size knife, uh, open carry, but uh, unless you have your concealed carry license, you can only carry up over four inches fully concealed. Anything under four inches, you are able to legally carry concealed without having any uh, licenses. Gotcha, gotcha. So what about the stilettos? Can the, you... the stilettos, what originally made them legal, they've been legal since, the double-edged lease since um, uh, 2017. But what took them from military use to civilian use, as we say, is they have a breakaway now to where it's a it's got to fail and, and it doesn't force its way Mine out. Mine does that too, yeah. yes. So yes. that's what originally made them legal start bringing that legalities and then now of course Texas and quite a few other states have adopted the um, not so much that restrictions on the items but it's what you do with the items that makes it legal or illegal and I like it better because it puts it on the person more than the item okay all right show us this knife see if you can get in there on the solution and see this so they open and close one-handed ambidextrous and if it accidentally opens in your pocket, it does have a quick fail to it. Our springs, the tension on the spring isn't too hard to get severe, but of course it is a knife, it right. may poke. Feel but how sharp it to, is, huh? To reset, yeah, exactly. <laughs> to reset, all you're doing is you're pulling out, hyper-extending it to lock it back on track, and you're good to go. Or the fun way. Right. Thanks I'm a lot. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Hey, man, appreciate it. Pleasure. Be out your Alicia Corville. And you were just talking about how you needed to find some place to sit down because your back was hurting. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, my gosh, how cool is this? Now, who we got here? Tell us tell us who you are in, in name of this business. My name's uh, Charlie Carey with the Oasis Marine Construction and Oasis Dock Supply. We have uh, 
right here we have the Wave Armor Otter Island. Just deploy this out in the water. You can hang out on it, put your umbrella. Just chill out for the day. The kids can play. And then we also have the floating jet ski docks and other dock attachments. What are y'all? Where are y'all located at? Uh, we're located in Pearland. In Pearland, Texas. Yes, sir. We cover most of the South Texas. So what? All, East okay. So you got this guy here. You got the bench. You got the where you can pull up. Well, these for jet skis, or you do them for boats, boats too? Yes, sir. We have larger ones for larger boats as well. And these have to be anchored down, uh, uh, like with a spud pipe, and they'll ride them down on the pipe with the tide levels. Okay. Yes, and y'all do all that. Y'all yes, do sir. everything. We do all that. We also do boat lifts, conventional boat lifts, boat lift repairs, maintenance. So, I purchased this thing. How do I get it home? Do y'all do y'all deliver it? Set it in the water. We can deliver it. Yes, sir. And, and it just you just tie it onto your deck, or? Uh, you. It actually has an anchor that goes with it, and you just anchor it out in the canal anywhere or out in the pond. Yes, sir. I mean, you can drag it. <laughs> we can drag it out and create our own little island. Yes, sir. Hey, God, this is so awesome, man. This is great. So, once again, if we didn't get it, how do people find you online or? Uh, our website's oasisdocksupply.com. Phone number is 281-504-9969. Oh, and we got Hunter. Probably, probably, he probably has two or three of these. I'm sure. Hey, thank you. Yes, Appreciate sir. it. Thank you.